Good day folks, today we are going to be doing some testing of the dynamic range on the Hero 7 Black against the Hero 6 Black. Now the Hero 6 Black had quite an improvement in dynamic range from the Hero 5 Black. It was actually very dramatic if you look back in my channel at some of my older videos. So I don't know if there's going to be a huge difference. I think they've pretty well gone as far as they can until they increase the sensor size. Maybe a 1 inch sensor next year. That would be nice. Anyways, so we'll do some video. We'll check the dynamic range in video and then we'll take a couple photos and we will do some comparisons. Okay, so let's uh, get started here. So for those who aren't aware, uh, dynamic range is basically how it can differentiate between the uh, highlights and lowlights and how quickly it will adjust from one to the next. It's hard to tell in this preview screen what the difference is, so I will uh, be uploading this to my computer and analyzing it before I make any kind of statement. So I think we got some good enough footage there, so let's uh, go check it out on the computer. So I have analyzed the footage and I tell you I can't really notice any difference between the Hero 6 Black and the Hero 7 Black when it comes to dynamic range. Now some of you may have a better eye than myself and uh, if you think you notice any difference please comment down below and uh, let me know what you think. I think we have the best dynamic range we can get out of the GoPro in its current configuration. I don't think we will see an improvement until GoPro introduces a 1 inch sensor which is what I'm hoping for for next year's GoPro, the GoPro Hero 8. Now because of its size the GoPro engineers will definitely have a challenge ahead of them trying to fit a 1 inch sensor in there. However if DJI can fit a 1 inch sensor in this tiny little camera I'm sure the GoPro engineers can uh, figure it out. Now with all that said the dynamic range on both GoPros are the same and they're actually pretty good. There was a dramatic improvement last year with the Hero 6 compared to the Hero 5. Like I said, I have a video where I did a comparison against the Hero 6 and the Hero 5, the dynamic range, and it was like night and day difference. So both are actually pretty good, and definitely if you're looking for a reason to upgrade, the dynamic range is not that reason. Well folks, so that's it for this video. Hopefully, uh, if some of you were wondering if there was an improvement in the dynamic range, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, stay tuned, I have a lot more comparison videos coming up over the coming few days and weeks. We'll be doing Doing some audio comparisons both with a microphone and without a microphone. We'll be doing some stabilization comparisons against the Hero 6. We'll be testing out the new hyper smooth stabilization and we'll also be uh, testing out if it is indeed a gimbal killer like GoPro is calling it. Well folks that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.